Hey gang, SharpShot21 here. We are starting on the Voron V2 again tonight. And today's project will be getting the uh, bed prepped. Or we're going to do the bed install, but this is going to take a couple days. So, for the moment, this is going to be the uh, heater installation. Then once that's installed and set for a couple days, we'll go on to uh, some of the heater wiring and install and the um, build plate install. That's what I'm looking for. So let me get set up and we'll start on that. Okay, so first thing first for this is we are putting on a Kinovo 120 volt 60 watt heater. If you live in somewhere where 240 is your voltage, get the 240 volt one. 600 is what's recommended. And I have machined this bed got the mounting holes front and back, plus we've got two more. One is for a ground, and one is for a uh, thermal fuse. We'll install that when we start doing the wiring for the bed before we get it installed. One thing we'll need is we're going to need some isopropyl alcohol, because we want to clean the surface thoroughly before we install the Canovo. But you don't want to use something like acetone or brake cleaner for this. Because as you can see, it's a bit filthy. Alright, that's cleaned. As clean as I can get it. This has a 3M backer on it, and it is somewhat flexible. So, I want to install it from one side to the other, and you want to keep it as centered in the bed as possible. Actually, gonna go grab a ruler and a sharpie. Now, this being a 300 mil bed and a 240 mil um, mat, I want a 30 mil in on each side. Yeah. So I've just made a couple of little marks in the corners. Here, here, and here, where this plate is going to rest. We need to make sure that we work all the air out of it as we lay it down. We don't want any bubbles. It seems to be most flexible in this direction, not so much this way. Hence why we're going to lay it down like that. I want to just peel back a little bit. I want to get this nice and seated, nice and even. We 
we slowly peel the backer out. As we do, we make sure to work the air out. over, put it on, so I'm going to set this off to the side and put some weight on it, let it sit for about 24 to 48 hours. Finishing up the bed mounting, first thing first we got to do is mount up this Fuse there. And we are going to crimp on shielded ends on each side of this. That way, if I need to replace this thermal fuse because it cuts out at some point, all I gotta do is unplug it and plug it back in. The thing with these ones is their heat shrink, so let me go grab a lighter. shrink very well. So I'll slot in there. I'll put a spade on here and uh, open on that side just so that if I need to jump this out, I can. So I'll do those and I'll come back. All right, so I've got the ground installed, thermal fuse installed. I'm just gonna put one there to kind of keep everything nice and tidy. through. There's a hole in the back at the bottom plate here. Actually that's two. There's a round one. If you bought them from MN Laser Cutting. There's a round one which is designed for the 
bed and the nozzle probe cables to be slipped through. And then there's a square one further back, which is for everything for the AB drives, tool head, gantry, all that stuff to get run through. Simply four M3 by 16s. We have right here. And our little M4 nuts. Now, I put the narrow bit down at the bottom. Take our screw. I think 20s are a little short. Let's see what we got. Number 16 is a little short. Twenties. We're gonna use twenties. my bed a little too shallow or what. Again, the bed or the rails that the bed's riding on aren't centered and they aren't square to each other just yet. We're going to do that right at the very end. I'm actually going to turn this around to be back. Okay, last thing to do is mount the stop. And we need some M3 by 20s, if memory serves. three T-nuts.
just like that. From here, well from here it's time to finish off the electronics mounting. Okay, it's time to install the bed. I'm gonna hit this with some simple green first. Let that sit a minute. Wipe it all down. Wipe it down again with isopropyl alcohol. And then we're going to install the magnet for the bed after we get everything trimmed up. And this will be fully mounted. So I'll come back when I've got this all wiped down and we'll start to trim the bed in. Okay, so if this is clean, the head has been trimmed. Now, what we are going to do is we're actually going to remove the spring steel plate, the spring steel plate from the magnet. And just for a couple of reasons. It gives us a much more flexible magnet. And it will let us work with it. Now you want to peel it off just a little bit. I'm going to line up the magnet with the back and push all the air out that we can. firmly down. And working out as much air as we can. Ideally, all the air would be out. Well, 
swap the build plate itself on. And that is about done. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.